Hello and welcome to Major I'm English. Back. Did you miss me? Shalene. You know you missed me. We missed you. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to ask you to step off to the side for just a moment so that we can talk about this week's upcoming Poetry Slam. But I just got here. Thank you, Shalene. This Saturday from 6 to 8, the BYU English Society and the Saturday Night Slam series are holding our first Poetry Slam at the wall. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, I mean, to be quite honest, my only context to poetry slams are like a lot of snapping and that one scene from an extremely goofy movie. Um, it's not quite like that. A poetry slam is a performance poetry competition, so it's poetry out loud. It's very audience engaging, so there is snapping, there is clapping, there is stomping, there is showing enthusiasm in general, but if you're expecting the goofy movie, you may be a little disappointed. Okay. Are there like, is there a hype man, kind of like at a rap battle? Mmm, it's not quite a rap battle either. Even though poetry slams have been influenced by the hip-hop culture, and you may hear rap at a poetry slam, the format of a poetry slam is not a rap battle. Poets bring pre-prepared pieces, and it's not improvised. Okay, yeah, well that sounds like a can't miss. Uh, so when, when was it again? It is October 17th, this Saturday, from 6 to 8 at The Wall. And we still have some slots open for performers, so if you or any of your friends would like to rock the stage this Saturday at the wall, the sign link to the sign-up is in the description. Awesome. Well, Maddie, thank you so much for sharing. We hope everyone will turn out. Can I come back now? You may. <laughs> We have some exciting news for this week. Uh, first off, we want to announce the winner of the six-word essay. It was Speed Racer Davis on Twitter, who is not me, who wrote, Yes, it's unloaded. Bam! Bloody assumption. Pretty good. Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, some of the other winners will be listed in our show notes for this week's episode. <laughs> For those of you looking for something to do tonight, come on out to our Tuesday club meeting. Tonight is Grammar Geek Night. There is going to be a spelling bee and some of your favorite editing errors. It's not too late. You can still post those on Facebook if you want those announced. Um, it's tonight, 7 to 9 o'clock, JFSB B142. Yeah, BYU students are not immune to this. A few days ago, I saw someone talking about how great the BYU speculator was. So, it sounded like a cool event. So, if you don't want to do that, come out tonight. Um, yeah, so lastly, you, you were talking, sorry, because you're, okay. So, super cool. I don't know if you've started reading some of the early submissions for the BYU Symposium. Uh, Shalene, the symposium isn't until March. So, it's not too early to get started. Hmm. Well, what are some of the ideas? Well, let me just tell you. So, Kate Nish has decided that she's either going to do a paper on Hemingway or a paper on literary adaptations to new media. Well, which one is it? Can you do two? You can submit more than one, but this is just the idea phase. So, she's just throwing her ideas out there. I'm looking forward to getting some feedback. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, Acacia Woodbury talked about how she wanted to do an academic study of sci-fi and fantasy, and that could go a lot of different ways. A lot of really cool ways. Yeah. It may be broad now, but I bet she'll narrow it down as the times to come in. So you don't have to have a solid idea right now. The hard submissions aren't due until January. This is just for the early submissions to get your ideas out there, to get feedback, to be entered in to win $50. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we, we're going to post a link in our show notes to a Google Doc. It'll take like two minutes to fill out. Uh, and just if you have any idea at all or even a desire to submit anything to the English Symposium, it'll definitely be worth your time. Literary criticism, analysis, creative writing, we'll take it all. We're excited to see your ideas. Great. Well, uh, once again, this is Davis and Shaleen bringing you Major English News, breaking all things breaking news regarding the English major. See you next week.